Well, we are here at the phone bank that's been going on all day. We have John here from Florida Insurance Specialist. Good morning to you. Good morning. And uh, you have a lot of very good information for folks who maybe are new to this whole hurricane prone area when it comes to hurricane insurance and policies in force. Tell, tell me more about that. Sure. Well, for people that are new to Central Florida or this is your first hurricane season and you've got property insurance, homeowners insurance that covers your home, the first thing that I want you to do is go get your mortgage statement, get your loan number, and call the 800 number on your mortgage statement to make sure that your policy's in force and paid. Because sometimes, like most of us, our homeowner's insurance is covered in our monthly mortgage payment. So it's automatic out. It's automatically out. So we don't think about it. We don't pay it for it separately. Sometimes if, if you've had a new real estate transaction, if you're new to the area, if you just purchased a home or you've done a refinance, sometimes the mortgage servicing changes very quickly after that transaction and the homeowner's insurance doesn't necessarily get picked up by the new servicing company. The worst thing that you want to have happen is yeah. that you think that you have a policy that's paid to date and enforced by the homeowners, uh, by the mortgage company, mm -hmm. and it's not. It's lapsed. It happens to us every year. Sadly, people call after they've had a claim and they don't have insurance. Right. Okay. So get the loan number, call your mortgage company, ask to speak to someone in the hazard insurance department and they can verify that the policy uh, is paid, it's been dispersed out of the escrow account and that you're all set. Okay. Okay. Second thing I want to talk about is deductibles. Most people don't understand this either. We get this question a bunch every, yeah. every year this time of year, hurricane season. So I'm going to hold it up right here. Go ahead. Okay. You guys can see that. Gang? All right. So on your homeowner's insurance policies, you have a separate deductible when it comes to um, hurricane versus all other perils. In Central Florida, the average hurricane deductible is about 2%. And you can see I've got a policy here. I'm actually holding it up. So as that relates to damage to your property from a storm, you need to understand it's not going to be the amount of damage that's done. It's the amount of coverage. So if you have a $200,000 house and you have a 2% hurricane deductible, your deductible is $4,000. So you have a home, you have $100,000 worth of damage to the property. It's not 2% of 100,000, it's 2% of the coverage amount. So it's 4,000, not 2,000. Most people don't understand that either. And it's a common question that we get. So make sure what you understand what your deductibles are. Um, the other thing I want to speak briefly on, it's mm -hmm. called preservation of property. We had a, a couple in 2004 they had a hole in their roof from one of the hurricanes that came through. We had eight hurricanes in 2004 yeah, and 2005. A busy year, that's for sure. Busy year, yeah. both those seasons. And they didn't um, do any temporary repairs to their home, and they kept letting water come into their house because they were afraid that if they touched anything or did anything, that it was going to affect their claim status. Right. Don't do that, gang. Make the temporary repairs to your home. It's called preservation of property. It's allowed, in fact, it's encouraged, and it's not going to affect your claim when the adjuster comes out to your house. Yeah, normally you think just leave ho everything how it right. is. Yeah. So, and, and even like covering a hole like in, in your roof when it rains the next day, you're yeah. avoiding more damage. So do what you can to mitigate the damage. It's not going to affect your claim. And, and calling is the, is the best thing to start, Absolutely. start the process before another storm. Absolutely. Most policies have the 800 number right at the top and you can call the 800 number 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're, if you're in your home and you're doing regular business hours, it's a good idea to contact your insurance agent as well and make sure that they've got, uh, they can help you through the claims process and they've got all the information. And the last thing you wanna do is you're already dealing with your own home being damaged is going through all this over the phone already when you're stressed out. So right. the best thing to do is ahead of time when you're cool, calm, and collected. Be proactive. Exactly. Well, John, thank you very much. Again, John from Florida Insurance Specialist. Thank you again. Thank you for having me. Thank you.